So my name is Mal Harrison. I'm from Poland. I came here in 2002 because I got married. Uh, in Poland, when I was a student, my major was English. So when I came here, I thought I was well prepared that I kind of should be able to communicate with people and shouldn't have any cultural issues. Uh, well, that turned out not to be exactly true. And uh, well, I want to share a few stories from that early period of time when I came over here. So uh, I live in Ind Indianapolis. And close to my house, there is a trail. It's called Monon Trail. So one day, uh, my husband and I went on the trail. On the trail, there are a lot of people. They walk, they run, they jog. It's just a place you know, to relax and have fun. So we were walking, and it was my first day, as I said. And we are passing somebody, a person. And my husband says, hi. And this person says, hi. And we keep walking. I'm like, hmm, OK, maybe they know each other. So in a minute or so, there's another person passing. And this person says, hello. My husband says, hi, how are you? This person says, fine. And we keep walking, nothing else. So at that point, I'm really, how does he know all these people? But we keep walking. I'm, I'm not asking really about it yet. And. Uh, Finally, when an, another person passed by, and again, there was the same exchange, hi, hi, how are you? I just couldn't stand it anymore. So I asked, how do you know all these people? And he said, I don't. That's just what we do here. We say hi. So since that moment, I have been saying hi to everybody too, because that's the thing that you do in this country. So that was one story. Another story I remember was um, about our travel to uh, Savannah, Georgia. That's in the south of the country. And uh, in the south, the language is different, really, than the language we speak here in Indianapolis and Indiana, in the, in, in the Midwest, which I knew but wasn't prepared really for. So we, we went there to visit the family. And one day, I went to get coffee. So I'm at this coffee shop. And the lady preparing my coffee asks for Hero to go. But she says that in a very heavy southern accent. And I have no idea what she's saying. So I say, excuse me? And she says, for Hero to go, in the same heavy accent. And I still have no idea what to say. I am really embarrassed at this time, because I know it cannot be anything complicated. I'm buying coffee. So I say again, excuse me. You know, my cheek, cheeks are burning at this point. I'm all red. I'm st I started to sweat. And she says in the same heavy accent, but slower, for here or to go. So I say, to go, and almost run out of the store. That was something really embarrassing for me. I really felt like, you know, as an English major, I should have done better. Well, but I didn't. But, you know, after a few days of staying in the South, in Savannah, I started understanding what people are saying, and now I don't have any problems. So sometimes you just need time to, you know, get a better understanding of the language.